Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this smart pet feeder. Here's the branding for it. Some information printed on the back of the box here. Here's the barcode. Some spec information. Let's open this up. Now this company did send me this unit to review. I'm not sure how much it cost yet, but I'll place the link in the description below. If you want to read any part more detail, feel free to pause the video. For those that's been following my TikTok or Instagram, you'll notice that I got a puppy now. The unit is pretty light, not much else in the box. It's like the food dispenses from here. This also has, it looks like a, a battery backup. Three D sized batteries. AC input is right over here. The QR code for their app. Cue this off too. My dog is very curious. First, we have the dog tray. I'll put that to the side. Next, we have the power adapters for it. It did come with the wall adapter. For this wall adapter, outputs at five volt, one amp. It is universal, 100 to 240 volts. It would be nicer if they use a like type C or micro USB, but I guess these are cheaper. So the length of this cord is maybe four feet. It is braided. Here's the hopper where the food goes. Now I'm trying to install the food tray. I have a battery, let's power it up. Once it's powered up, the LED over here is lit. I'm not sure if my camera can catch it, but there's a blinking blue LED. What I did wrong before is I did not know that I need to grant additional permissions to this app, including the location services. So it detected my pet feeder. I'm gonna hit add. I was asking for my Wi-Fi information. That one device, zero ask successfully, is trying to add right now. There's a little status indicator. And once it added successfully, this blinking, well, what was blinking, is now a solid blue. Next. And done. All right. I can choose how much portions to feed. I can create a feed, feeding plan or a meal plan. Set the time, let's say we'll usually feed them around 7 a.m. Every day, let's give it just one portion. Let's save. Then I'll give another portion. Mm, 5.45, also another portion. Okay. So it has it keeps track of a history. I'm try this one portion feed. I can hear it clicking inside. It's pretty quiet so far. I don't have any food in here yet. 
I'm back to settings. The settings are just factory reset. I can change the name of this pet feeder. Wall fly notification. Okay. A share device. There's no updates available right now. I've been using the feeder for quite some time now, and it's actually not bad. We feed our dog a little over two cups a day, so we get about, I'll say five days, just because we feed our dog mango a little over two cups every day. The noise from this is barely audible. I'm just press the feed here for a sec. So that is one portion for her or for a half cup portion, it's about roughly nine feeds. Before I did one portion already, I'm gonna just do eight more portions. There's a little gradual slope on this side, a steeper slope on this side. Um, I'm glad that it's not too gradual here and doesn't shoot out that fast. That way the food remains in this tray. Place the items here in this little measuring cup. Should get the idea. So this is just one. Well, she gets two scoops for breakfast. Because I have a larger size dog, that's why a full hopper will only last about five days. If I had like a teacup dog or like a chihuahua, it could probably last way more than a week, maybe even two weeks. This costs about sixty dollars off Amazon. I like it. It's easy to use, very easy to set up. Of course, I just wish the hopper was a little bit taller, holds a little bit more. I'll place a link to this in the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Awkward Hamster.